Hi guys, welcome back to this channel and if it's your first time to come across this channel, consider subscribing. By the way, don't forget to press the notification bell, it will be the only way that you will be the first to be updated when I upload a new video. For the returning subscribers, thank you so much for coming back to this channel. For the new subscribers, I appreciate it. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. Remember, it's Mix from the Mix Creation TV. In today's video, I want to ask the question, what, what are the best locations for a security guard to work in? in Katanga? Yes, that is a very good question. Security guard locations. Yeah. Remember, but when we look at locations, the different locations, we may have construction sites, we may have hotels, we may have um, uh, children's crossings, uh, we have, may have schools, we may have hospitals, we may have restaurants, we may have a security guard is actually mandated to work wherever he's being posted to work. So long as the safety measures are there, he will be posted wherever you, work, you, you have to work. For example, when, when you are being recruited or when you're recruited from your country, they will ask a question, are you willing to, to work for 12 or 9 hours or 12 or 8 hours, depending on what you agree upon. There's a reason why they ask you for those questions. Because you will not, you as a person, you will not have to, de to detect, to detect what kind of location you're going to work to. No. It is your employer, your supervisor, your employer, who is recruiting your sponsor. He knows why he's recruiting you and where he's supposed to post you. That is quite very important. So when you're coming as a security guard, don't say me, I'm coming to work, but I want to go and work in the hotel. It is not... It is, it, it, is, it is not you to take the decision to say I'm working in a hotel, I'm going to work on the beach, I'm going to work here, or I'll work night shift, or I'll work. No. Remember, as you go, you take what you call interviews. And when you are taking interviews, they will ask you all those kind of questions. Are you willing to work day? Yes. Are you willing to work night? Yes. You have agreed. You have agreed. So definitely, to my own, to my own understanding and my own experience, there is no best location to work in. Because remember, each location has its own rules and regulations. The rules and regulations are supposed to fall in those locations. So there is, there is no best location that you have to think about. But remember, if you're so lucky enough and you get a very good location, that is well and good. It will be the good side for you. The locations whereby you'll have sitting only, where they'll give you a chair to sit, and you're sitting for the last for only you're sitting for all the eight hours that you get to work, or for the twelve hours, then that will be a very good location for you. The locations where they will watch for you laundry. The locations where they will say they will give you. You'll be working eight hours and, for example, if you're working 12 hours, you'll be working eight hours and you have two hours spread. There are those good locations. That one will depend on the client where you are posted. That client determines so much with you working. Because already, remember, your sponsor already has got a contract and will just post you to the client. So, you well dealing with the client, you may have some benefits at one way or the other. And that's what we're talking about. And that's what is going to make that location very good. You may be so lucky enough and you go to a hotel where you'll have food, you'll have lunch, you'll have dinner, you'll have breakfast. You only go back to accommodation to sleep in case in your company they don't provide for you food. So that means your 300 food allowance. You put it in your pocket for saving. That is also another best alternative. You can be taken to hospital and you'll only work for three hours. Oh, that hospital where you take in, they're only working for five hours. And remember, your duty is eight hours. So if you're working for five, hour, five hours, that means you have an extra three hours to sit, only to sit. So that one is also a good location to someone else. Huh? You know? There's a location where the client will say, I'll be in charge of the security guard and I'll give accommodation security guard. For example, if you go to schools, if you're given a location to the schools, and probably that's also a very good advantage, you take it, you have it. So that's going to be your good location. So the good location will only depend where you are posted and what kind of services 
you are getting from those locations or the services that are being given to by the client is quite very important. If you get to work well with that client, then probably you will be enjoying more benefits. And if you are working well with the people around, how you're handling those people, then and that kind of location you have is giving you a peace of mind. Then it's a very good location. It's a good location. If you're well and good, they give you night shift, you definitely take it. If they give you day and that's where your you you, 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 you good working is, you probably take it. It's also be a very good location. So it will depend. It also depends how busy that area is. You may find someone is a busy area, but he's tipping something. There's some small tips for him. So that person not even think about how I'm going to stand for 12 hours or 8 hours. Because at the end of the day, he has something. He has something. So meaning that he has to save his money. That one is also there. This is where you go and you're getting from tea, you're getting from lunch, from breakfast, until dinner. <laughs> so that means that you're getting all the three meals and you just go back. So probably all those factors should be considered as we're looking for location. We'll talk about the best location. So the best location will be where you are posted, you're happy, your working conditions are very good, you receive whatever you get, and you're happy to working with the client or the people around. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. Hope I've tried to share up something from my own experience. Don't, um, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to join this channel. See you again in the next video as we try to see more of these interesting opportunities. Don't forget to subscribe. It's makes from the next creation. See you again in another video.